I've ever had. Indeed, Diane's career at Coral Ridge Church has been one of great opportunity and tremendous success. The 117 rank Rafati organ was chosen, designed, and built to her specifications. It is one of the great instruments of the world. The highly successful Coral Ridge Concert Series was founded by Diane and the Director of Music, Roger McMurrin. The church concerts feature internationally famous Christian artists and attract over 40,000 in attendance. Her book, Church Music Explosion, and popular workshops cross denominational boundaries to help promote excellence in church music. For 10 years, she has appeared on the weekly national television church service of Dr. D. James Kennedy. Diane Bish is not only a lady of prodigious talent, but she has a vital Christian faith as well. And in all that she does, that faith shines through, whether her playing, her composition, her books, her television program, everywhere, you can see that the excellence that she has stems from a dynamic faith in Christ. It's been my great joy for all these years to work with her as my colleague. Diane, I know that you've achieved a great deal in your professional career and as an individual. What are your plans for the future? What would you like to do in the future that you haven't done? Well, I really want to continue doing what I'm doing now, the joy of music and playing at the Corwoods Church and writing music. I love to write music and playing concerts. But one thing I would really love to do is to expand the joy of music to some secular networks where more people will hear it. You know, we're, what, over, in over 100 million homes now worldwide. You know, we've received so many letters, and I have received many letters of people saying how these programs that combine the, the, the wonderful grace of God and His, His gifts to us and the wonderful music, how it's inspired them. And I'd like to reach more people through the medium of television, even than we're reaching now. The most popular programs that the viewers really enjoy are the ones produced in Europe. Well, you know, everybody thinks, oh, you know, you travel around and, and you give concerts it's and you fun. do television programs. It's such fun. It's so exciting. If they only knew. If they only knew that we spent 14 to 16 hours a day in a church in Europe that uh, just this past summer in the Strasbourg Cathedral, just to get to the organ, we had to go up 130 stairs out on the roof, down 30 stairs, out on the roof, and in through the door of the organ, because the organ hangs on the wall like a little eagle's nest. If they only knew that in the winter time when we go to shoot all the beauty in the churches, that it's freezing cold in the churches. One year when we went, it was 35 degrees below zero. And not only that, the transportation, you never know how you're gonna get somewhere, or exactly how you're going to get the, the equipment up to the organ loft or how you're going to get to a church. I know that humor is a big part of your personality and also a big part of, of you and the joy of music is the style that you bring to it. So many people have written and asked about your gowns. Where do you get these wonderful gowns? Well, you know, I've always wanted to be a clothes designer. Really, I love uh, beautiful colors together and I like different things. And uh, so really the, the performance on the organ and uh, all of the things that I do on television really give me a chance to to use these ideas that I've had for a long time in uh, designing these gowns. 
Sometimes I can find them in stores, not too often, so I have to design them because they're long dresses with long slacks underneath to match the dress. And uh, they're not only used for modesty, but also to give a little sparkle to the performance. Oh, and speaking of sparkles, uh, your shoes even glitter. Why do you wear those shoes? Is there any special reason? or? Uh, you mean my gold shoes? Your gold shoes. Well, the gold shoes go along with the fancy dresses, and also they're used for a technical reason, because they're, they're made for the organ. They have a little bit higher heel, so you can reach the different pedals. And uh, they're very comfortable. That's the reason I wear them. Diane, I know that you've been very prolific in writing beautiful compositions. I love to write music. It's almost like taking a vacation from the other things that I do, because it gives me a chance to get out what is on the inside. And uh, it's, it's uh, a way to express myself. I, I mostly like to write sacred compositions, although I've written just some, some uh, classical pieces for the organ. But I like composition with words. I like composition for choirs, soloists, and I love orchestral music in combination with the organ. So I have tried to write music that relates something, a message to someone, uh, a message of hope, a message of inspiration, of joy, of uh, the things uh, and the, the joy that God can give us in life. And I want to say too, Diane, that uh, all the things that you've expressed and the things that you believe in experiencing God's love and guidance and, and your commitment to Him, it shows through your music. It shows, it, it's revealed through your compositions and, and how you play the organ. And uh, I know that uh, you have a very, very strenuous schedule. And I know that it saps you a great deal. And I know that people have been praying for you. Well, you know, one thing that really is important to me uh, in my life and in my faith is or are the prayers of my parents. Uh, even today, and I'm so thankful that they're still alive and able to pray for me. Whenever I do a performance, I know that they're praying for me. And if, if parents only realized how important their prayers were for their children, whether the children agree with these prayers or not, still they will remember that their parents or someone is praying for them. And that always gives me strength and courage. And then the fact that I truly believe on the inside that that God did give me these gifts, that He did change my life, and I want to serve Him with my gifts. Thank you for joining us on The Joy of Music for a special presentation with Diane Bish. We look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.